ES Audio. If you balked at those £200 plus Adele concert tickets, how about watching your favourite star's gig for free? The catch? It's all in the cartoon-like social gaming metaverse of Roblox. Superstars like Zara Larsson, KSI and Ava Max have already performed on the platform and are making big money from selling digital merchandise. But it's not t-shirts, coffee cups and souvenir programmes. It's all virtual. Artists love it. They want to get, they want to perform and be in front of many as many fans as they can and make them feel happy and connect with them. That's John Velosopoulos, Roblox Global Head of Music on the line from Lisbon's Web Summit. And so what technical developments are stars such as Larson working on for the future? So we're working on those technical abilities to allow Sara to be live, to, you know, as her avatar in front of her fans and imagine um, a big virtual screen in her studio where she's doing it where little faces of all her fans are there and she can call them out by name. And young fans are snapping up NFT-style add-ons like wings or lanyards for their avatars, which cost from a dollar in the game's virtual currency Robux. They want to, in the future, buy virtual tickets or do virtual meet and greets. And uh, But the, the fans and the artists now are reconnected, which I think makes music exciting again. And it all adds up for the stars' bank balances without them needing to get changed out of their pyjamas. Meanwhile, the Evening Standard City news editor Simon Freeman caught up with Web Summit CEO Paddy Cosgrave on the final day of Portugal's Tech Mega Expo and asked him a very important question about the future. When do you think Summit will be held entirely in virtual reality? So I buy every virtual reality headset that literally gets released. I'm just like a massive nerd. And so I'm long in virtual reality, but not ultimately to replace the richness of, of human to human interaction. I think for entertainment purposes, I think probably for medical purposes, for you know all sorts of applications, it's only going to grow. And the form factor, I think probably in the medium term will be dictated by Apple. They're going to figure out how to, you know, really bring this new augmented reality platform to the masses through the much rumoured Apple Glass, whatever they're going to be called, um, that may be released in 2023. Um, but even in even in Star Wars and all of these fictional sci-fi movies that are like 10,000 years in the future, everybody's still going to the pub. <laughs> long may you know, continue. Like, even the most far-fetched sci-fi writers can't imagine a world where people just don't go, go for a pint. <laughs> <laughs>